Hey children! Welcome to a new episode of Flea Market Banditos! Let's go! This is the tale of two sunset riders who faced impossible odds to find and play the games of gods told in the stories of old. Two outlaws that spit in the face of logic and traverse Belgian wasteland. Two bandits out for a steal. Will they return with legendary loot? Or will this prairie of retro games be their downfall? Find out in this week's episode of Flea Market Bandidos. Hi guys and welcome to episode 12 of Flea Market Bandidos. I want to start this episode off by mentioning a package we got from a viewer of us, actually someone we know through YouTube, namely 2T UK. Welcome to this special segment of uh, the 12th episode of Market Banditos. Uh, we've received a piece of fan mail. Well, I don't know if you can call him a fan, but he does enjoy our videos and he's an awesome dude. Um, he saw one of our Flea Market Bandidos videos, I don't know which episode, that um, my Nintendo 64 broke. So what did he do? He sent us a Nintendo 64. Um, I've tested it, it works. Um, I brought it back down to show you guys, it works. The, my hookups were fine, my controllers were fine. Uh, the N64 itself was unfortunately broken, but this one works. Um, then he also sent us, because he saw that we bought a Sega, our very first Sega, in one of our Flea Market Bandidos um, videos. He sent us a controller for the Sega, plus three games, which is awesome. I mean, it's like one of the first games we have for the system, so... Um, we got Lotus 2 RECS, which is a racing, a racing game? game, I suppose. Pretty it's cool. It's pretty cool, the, the cartridge is... Pretty weird. Maybe that's just because we're not familiar with Sega cartridges. Okay. Um, Super WrestleMania. Shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. And uh, Street Racer, which I've actually heard of before, so I'm. Yeah, I think that's a that's a pretty known one. Yeah. But maybe you should say his name. That that was what I was coming to right now. His name is Stu, um, and his channel name. I have a piece of paper right here. Uh, no, I think it's still inside. Oh no, it's right here. 2T UK. 2T UK. I'm gonna hold that oh. up to the cameras. This is a little note he left. Thank you so much, 2T. Thank you, 2T. Um, you guys should check his channel out. He does pickup videos, he talks about the games he finds. Um, We're really, running out of battery. Really, really cool channel, really awesome guy. Thanks again, Stu. Thanks again to the UK. You're awesome! So we heard um, there's a garage sale going on, but only at um, one one house. So obviously he's going to call that house. Maarten, we were on the way to the Rommelmarkt in Boom, but they said that he had to have old video games or new ones. They said that we were. Op zoek zijn. Eén uh, uh, kraan was enkel het uw en uw nummer stond daarbij. Wij vroegen ons af. Ah, Oké, okay, goed. Oké, okay, veel succes dan nog. Toch bang. Ja, uh, geen oude video spelletjes. No video games. Too bad. 19 minutes on the camera. 19. 19. We're going to the Saint Jean flea market. Ja, yep, Sint Jans plan. Sint Jans plan. We've been there before. Actually, we've been there for the first time, but we didn't have a camera with us back then. Yeah, well, we we filmed there before. Yeah, oh yeah, we also filmed there before. Yeah, it's it, uh, Captain. Captain Video Game at the <laughs> Sundance Kid. <Yep. laughs> Maybe we'll see them again. Yeah, perhaps who knows. It's always good to see familiar faces. Uh, now, 
yesterday was typical Belgian weather. It's kind of like a rainforest without the rainforest, you know, without the forest. It's kind of like a rainforest without the forest. Isn't it pretty? It's the Great Bank of Belgium. Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna rob it! <laughs> Welcome to Flea Market Bad Heroes, episode 12. <laughs> Robbing the Belgian bank. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's Belgium for you. So we decided to head on over and it just started pouring and pouring and pouring. It was really night before it all, it had also been lightning and storm all the way uh, so Steve had told me I, I tend to sleep through that shit that felt me that felt me yes that falls with you that falls with we knew there were gonna be a few resellers there as always we decided to check it out anyways. Um, turns out we were right in our um, in our first thinking because there were resellers. There were a couple of people who weren't really resellers and who were selling a couple of um, PS2 titles, but they were far too expensive. Kings of Persia, Crash Bandicoot Action Pack, Saints Row 4, Super Mario. I already have Max Payne 3. I kind of liked it. It got a lot of shit, Max Payne 3. Saints Row 4 looks okay. Destiny looks okay, but I'm not really into that right now. So we have these monsters. Kinda want Prince of Persia. Kinda want Saints Row 4. Ah, oh, okay. And that's three resellers. 10 euros for a place uh, for an Xbox 360 game is a bit too much. Kinda makes me want to go back to that guy who was selling them for two and a half euros, but yep. well actually for three, but you wouldn't go down to two, so you made it two and a half, and that's yeah. still too pricey. Yeah, Sintel's plan it wasn't very fruitful. Uh, I think a lot of people probably read up that there was going to be a storm and decided to not place their stalls there that day, and rightly so, because there was hardly anybody looking, which was good for us, but there was also hardly any anybody selling, and I think we made a game of how many uh, resellers we could find because those were the diehards that were there. Mm -hmm. This is Mario Kart DS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some there up for on top. Yes. Not a good sign. Yeah, and, and we also met a guy that we bought our uh, very first Sega system from. He's a Dutchman and he sometimes puts his own stall, but even he told us, yeah, it's gonna be too bad weather, uh, I'm not gonna put up that shit for an entire day. And that made us realize we weren't gonna find anything at Sinchan's plan. Belgian weather for you. Yay, Belgian weather. Yay. The problem with going to um, the game shop Game Buster, yeah. which is pretty nearby, is that um, is that we can't film inside. That's true. The problem with this flea market is that only people who ask too much for their games have stalls. We also had plans to go to the uh, shop that we've showed you before. 
It's uh, the Game Busters, but you know, we were so rained out by the time we got to the van. It was really just pouring on. We we were just cold and, and wet, and we decided, you know, after five minutes sitting in that car, we we were just so tired, so we decided to call it quits. Through weather and rain, we seek the games. But I tell you, fuck Belgian weather! We didn't find anything. Uh, <laughs> wait. No, we did not. We did not find anything at all. Uh, we did meet the, the Dutchman who sold us the games earlier. It was fun to see him again, but... Uh, yeah, he didn't find anything either, so... so because... And he, he's, he usually puts up a saw himself, but he said, you know, weather's too bad. I didn't want to do it, and well, can't we can't we can't fucking blame him. But day two was a lot more successful. Like to tell, come on, grab your friends. Now we thought this was going to be the same flea market that we went to on the same location a couple of months ago. Um, turns out that it wasn't the same flea market, but it was at the same location. A combination of an inside and outside flea market. We still had to pay two and a half euros to get in though, so that was kind of a bummer. We were hoping for something really good. Uh, well, it was kind of worth it. The first thing I found was this little guy right here for the game room. Um, I just, I found it hilarious to just see him standing there, it was just one euro, so I thought, you know, might as well take him with us and put him up here somewhere, he's, he's just awesome. He wears a Believe t-shirt, I think, backwards, or something, but this is really cool. Isaac Hayes. To, what? Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes. He used to be one of my favorite um, characters from, uh, South Park. from South Park. Then the fruity yeah. little club stole him. Yeah, the, indeed, yeah. Fruity little club. Super adventure club. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Scientology. Um, later on, on the, in the same flea market, uh, we came across a couple of DS games who... Pretty good titles, not nothing great, but alright titles. Even a 3DS game, I think. Um, but she was asking 10 euros, so I wasn't going for that. Uh, and we also came across this other guy in the open flea market part uh, who had uh, a collection of PlayStation 1 games, GameCube games, which was awesome for Steve at, uh, PlayStation 2 games, and Xbox 360 games. None of Nintendo or stuff like that, though he did have. I think he had a complete Wii, but I think we didn't ask for the Wii for the price, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that it would have been too expensive. But we pointed out a few things that were wrong with his merchandise, like uh, there were a few games in the wrong boxes and he tried to sell a controller for a GameCube, a second-hand controller, uh, second... Third party. Third party. <laughs> Jesus. A third party controller. Uh, for the GameCube to uh, Steve at as part of a PlayStation uh, 1 with a screen as that was the controller for it. And we were like, nope, nope, dude. You, you can see the ports don't match. This is for a GameCube. And it was welcome because Steve at has recently bought a GameCube and he has only one controller and it is really worn out. It, it looks like crap. 
And this one, though a third-party controller, I think Piranha is a pretty decent third-party uh, for controllers, uh, this one was in mint condition, uh, just about mint condition, so we decided, you know, let's try and buy this. Dude asked 5 euros for the controller alone, but we decided, you know, there are a few games, maybe we can pile some on, make a deal, and I found uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped, which I've been looking for. Uh, it's stupid that it's now just the disc because it's the wrong uh, box, I think. Rayman the Great 2, The Great Escape is the box for it, and it doesn't have a booklet or, or the front uh, page thingy. But I bought it for one euro, and that's actually all I want. I, all I need is the game, I just want to play it again, and I think it will work. So, here's to hoping. So, one euro for that game, poor condition, not the best, but I also bought Rayman Rush, which he asked originally for a euro and a half for one euro. Uh, it's in German, I see that now. Auf in den Wettkampf, das einsertige Rayman Multiplayer Spiel can begin! But, yeah, Rayman Rush, it's a, it's a racing game, so... I'm hoping there's an English version uh, in the game, an option, but... If not, it's still going to be pretty fucking funny to have a German Raymond uh, racing game. German Raymond racing game. So. German Raymond racing rush. <laughs> Let the highs begin! <laughs> uh, a couple of different consoles and a couple of... Well, actually a lot of games for different consoles. I think you still had six GameCube titles, but you could clearly see that all the best had already been taken. Um, and he also had a couple of PS2, Xbox 360, stuff like that. Um, he basically said two euros a piece, some three euros for the PS2 and uh, GameCube games. So that was reasonable, you know, and then... Um, he asked one euro, I think, a piece, or in some cases two euros again for PS1 games. So what did we get for ten euros out of all that haggling? <laughs> um, two PS1 games, two PS2 games, and a third party... Um... No, a PS2 and a GameCube game. Oh yeah, a PS2 and a GameCube game and a third party GameCube controller. These prices weren't that bad. Yeah. 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 I also bought, and this is not a game, but I just want to say it, I bought uh, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I like uh, the other books. I haven't read uh, The Da Vinci Code yet, uh, but it its sequels are pretty good, and I like the movie. There's a lot of people who also don't like it, but, you know, it, it's pretty great, I think. So, one euro, it's still in pretty good condition. Uh, can get that for much cheaper, I think, so... That's great news. Oh yeah, <laughs> about the guy who sold us the bunch of uh, games uh, for for a whopping price of 10 euros. So we had the controller, we had my two PlayStation 1 games, we had GameCube game Robots for Steve Hat, and a PlayStation 2 game of Rayman for Steve Hat as well. I think it was Rayman 3. Uh, it's the one with the 3D, uh, uh, 3D front. There you go. But the dude, we go like, what, what, what can you give us for this? Steve asks, you know, what, what would your price for this be? And the dude says, uh, uh, eleven euros. We look at each other and we're like. It's a little bit pricey. I mean, it's two uh, danged up PlayStation 1 games, it's a third party controller. Robots isn't all that, uh, all that a great game, I've heard. And, you know, Rayman 3, I've played it. It's, it's fun, but it's not amazing. So, we go like, you know, we can do better. And Steve suggests, you know what, let's, let's make it a round price, let's say 10 euros, you know, 10 euros. Ten euros. Jesus. Okay. Hand signals are not my strong point. So we go ahead with ten euros, and the guy goes, "Ah, oh, is it ten euros? Is a little bit, 
it's, it's not much. I mean, it's already a steal for 11 euros. It's like, yeah, but this and that and this and that. And the dude goes, oh, okay, okay, 11 euros. We're like, do you not know how haggling works, my good man? Yeah. Eventually we got it for 10 euros, but seriously, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll cut down on the price. The exact same price. We're like, no, dude, no. But yeah, for 10 euros, not bad. Not great, but not bad. So, we're happy with that. So I guess you could call that flea market kind of a success. You have to take into consideration the, the price you pay to get in, but... Pretty good day all in all, pretty good pickups. So guys, I want to thank you again for watching Flea Market Bandidos, um, episode 12. This was episode 12 of Flea Market Bandidos. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, 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 Game Boy uh, Pokemon Blue, Red and Blue uh, strategy guide, which I don't need, you know, because I'm, I'm Pokemaster. But which would be cool to have and it was like I don't know four euros she asked and I go like uh, or five she asked five I think and I go like you know maybe three so no no that's one of the things I can't back down on